2015, the year of the Broncos winning the Super Bowl with Peyton Manning. The Ravens in 2015 were not a amazing squad. But they were led by Joe Flacco at the mainly the latter part of his career. I think he actually got hurt in 2015 and Matt Schaub took over. Nonetheless, though, if they had Lamar Jackson nowadays, they would probably be in a lot better shape. So that's exactly what we did. We added Patrick Mahomes to the 2015 Chiefs, and now we're adding Lamar Jackson to the 2015 Ravens. Shout out to the Madden Mod community for posting this mod, but just kind of going over, I already went over all these rosters in that other video, but I want to go ahead and just take a look at them again in case this is your first time watching um, and you don't remember the 2015 year. 2015 was a crazy year. Ryan Shazier was still in the league. You had OBJ as the cover athlete for Madden, which was strange. Um, just because like he really only got it because he had one great catch versus the Giants. Versus the Cowboys, excuse me. He was for the Giants. And it was a P.I. call nonetheless. But you had Peyton Manning and the Broncos win the Super Bowl in 2015 where their defense was able to really just destroy the MVP, Cam Newton. And of course, Peyton Manning was a nothing burger. He got replaced halfway through the season by Brock Osweiler. And then he comes back at the end, goes to the playoffs. They end up going to the Super Bowl and winning it. And a lot of the reasons why was because Mr. Cam Newton couldn't dive on a fumble. <laughs> it was a strange year, okay? And the Ravens weren't that good, okay? The Ravens were kind of middle of the pack, so this is the perfect scenario for the Ravens to kind of change that narrative, you know? It's also going to be interesting to see how this goes because this is great, I believe, if I am correct here, this is Greg Roman, I want to say, who obviously worked with Michael Vick, worked with a lot of different mobile quarterbacks, Colin Kaepernick, and that's why the Ravens got him. Oh, no. Wait, hang on. This might be Cam Cameron. So, 2012, the Ravens got rid of one of their offense coordinators halfway through the season. And they replaced him. I think that was Cam Cameron, the guy they got rid of. And then they got somebody else. So, I believe I'm correct here. This should be... Maybe not Greg Roman yet. I think they bought Greg Roman in 2017, I want to say. Um, actually, we probably ch could check this. But yeah, let's go ahead and go to, I think it's under coaching here, I believe. Let me go to manage team. Look at this like, oh wait, no, 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 I know what it is. I know what it is. Okay, so you go to manage staff and then it's about, it's upgrading. Franchise staff, that's what it is. I'm an idiot. Okay, it's Mark Tressman. DMPs. Okay, there it is. Okay. Mark Tressman. So this is after all those other guys got fired. And then I believe in 2014, they had Gary Kubiak, who went to the Broncos. Anyway, week one, nonetheless, this is 2015 year. There's only 17 games. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just trying to get my football mind back into things here. But first week, we have an injury. Charles Suggs goes down. Brandon Williams goes down. Ladarius Webb goes down. And Vashawn Melvin goes down. Dang, okay. Talk about a week one injury report right there. Lamar is already having to struggle with some adversity here. Week two, play the Raiders. It's back when they were actually the Oakland Raiders. Nowadays, obviously, the LA Raiders and or Las Vegas Raiders. So they lost that game. Okay. Now the 2-0 Bengals. Interesting. Lost again. Four new injuries. Wow. Okay. Steve Smith Sinor goes down. Elvis Duneville goes down. We're one and two currently, and we're not looking too good. Definitely uh, not looking too sexy right now. All right, we beat the Squealers. Now we play the Brownies. Let's see how the Brownies go here. Beat the Brownies. Okay. Now we put a 3-2 led 49ers. This is back when Jim Hardball was on the 49ers as their coach. So we beat Jim Hardball, actually pretty handily, to be honest, um, just like they did in the Super Bowl. Then, well, I guess that it wasn't pretty handily in the Super Bowl. They beat it by 30 points, and then they came back and made it a game at the end. All right, Cardinals, we got another new injury. Dennis Pitta. No, not Dennis Pitta, man. 
I love Dennis Pitta. I really do. I have his helmet. He's an absolute... He was a monster for the Ravens. He just couldn't say healthy. It's uh, another thing where if Dennis Pitta could say healthy, he would have been on the Ravens for a very long time. But he couldn't say healthy. He was always hurt. And then it got to a point where it's like, do you even keep a guy like that who has a real good upside, but he can't stay on the field? Kind of like the Bengals where we had... um. What's his name? Tyler Eifert. Tyler Eifert, really great tight end, just could not stay on the field and stay healthy, which was our biggest problem. There are so many players. Eugene Monroe. Okay, I remember, this is like a flashback for the Ravens here. It's a lot of players I remember here. All right. Let's see. Another injury. It's like every week it's an injury, bro. Yeah, another injury. All right. Keep it rocking, man. John, you're going to end up losing your job. The only reason I believe John Hallball is still the coach of the Ravens is because of Lamar Jackson. Because 2015-2016 year, the Ravens were awful. And there was a lot of people calling for um, John Hallball's head. And then Lamar Jackson came out of nowhere. Ozzie Newsome steps down as the GM. Eric DaCosta takes over. Lamar Jackson comes in. Actually, Lamar was, I think... Um, what's his name? Uh, was Ozzy's last pick. But anyway, though, I mean, that's... It's amazing how everything worked out so well together at the end of the career. But left guard, uh, left tackle, left guard, and right tackle all hurt. Both the running backs hurt. And wide receiver hurt. And Terrell Suggs is out for the season. And the Ravens, with Lamar Jackson, is still 10-3 right now. 10 and 3 with all those injuries. And he just beat the Chiefs, who have like an amazing roster. Wow. I say amazing roster. They have a great record, but their roster is led by Alex Smith. So I guess, you know, as great as it can be. Um, 11 and 4, we lost to the Steelers. Played the Bengals. They lost to the, again to the Bengals. So week 18, for example, there is no week 18 here. It is just week 17 um, because back in the day, there was no week 18. Anyway, though, so the divisions, Steelers won at AFC North 12-4 with Big Ben. Bengals missed with 10-6 back when the Browns were 2-16, 2-14. Oh, I miss those days. Now they're good. Yeah, I don't love to see that, man. Anyway, though, the Broncos miss at 10-6. and six. Wow, we have a lot of teams that, you know, are missing the playoffs as pretty good records. I mean, 10-6, and six, not the worst record. Obviously, nowadays, we'd be 10-7. and seven, But still not an awful, horrendous record. So, who won MVP? Lamar had 26 touchdowns, 4 interceptions, and 4,100 yards. He also had... 365 yards on the ground. Justin Forsett, literally, the guy who made this guy amazing with the Ravens was Gary Kubiak. Um, but then, obviously, once he left to go to Denver, yeah. Brock Osweiler led the NFL in passing yards. The most, but touchdown, night, well, hold up, hold up, no, go back. 19 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Lordy. Guess Peyton Manning got hurt. Alex Smith led a conference team in the Chiefs here. Okay. Who led it? Le'Veon Bell led the NFL. LeGarrette Blunt. Calvin Johnson. Okay. Makes sense. Let's go over to Sacks. Paul Kruger. This is very strange. Now, Paul Kruger played for the Ravens for a little bit of time, and then he went over to the Brownies. Um, interesting how he led the NFL there, but okay. Who won MVP? Stafford. Interesting. All right. Not bad. Let's see how these playoffs go. And we're going to do one more season after this. We're going to do the correct draft classes as well. So let's put local file. And we're going to go to 2016. So this is the Jared Goff draft class and all that kind of great stuff. So let's just see how this goes. Hopefully it goes somewhat well. All right, so playoffs here, and the Ravens should be a playoff team. I believe that they had the X. They had the X. They played the Tennessee Titans, led by Ryan Tannehill. And they beat the Titans, so now they play three more injuries. 
40. This is like the most injured I've ever seen the Ravens. And they had a year where they had like 40 players on on IR. All right, now they play Brock Osweiler in the Broncos. They lose to Brock Osweiler in the Broncos. I mean, at least Lamar didn't go down with injury the whole entire season. Like, in all this crap that happened to the Ravens this season, Lamar doesn't go down with injury, which I guess is the silver lining in the end here. But let's just see. Seahawks versus Bengals Super Bowl. Is that going to be 2015? That's Andy Dalton, right? I believe that's Andy Dalton versus um, Russell Wilson. And Andy Dalton wins the Super Bowl? Carlos Dunlap wins MVP. Um, okay, Amari Cooper, Rookie of the Year. Defensive Rookie of the Year was Quentin Rollins. Calvin Johnson, Offensive Player of the Year. Claire Mack, Defensive Player of the Year. Stafford, MVP. Hold up. Hold the fluff up. This is Dalton, right? Oh, this is A.J. McCarron. 2015, I believe it was either Dalton or A.J. McCarron. Um... It is Dalton, okay. But AJ was on the roster. Yeah, so this was the latter... I don't know I'll say the latter part, actually, of Dalton's career, but... Alright, so let's go to the draft, okay? And before I do that... Because I just realized I'm going to mess something up if I don't do this correctly. Let's go ahead and set this to auto. This way, the auto will sign players, release players, all that kind of good stuff. And I won't have to... Worry about having nobody on the squad next year. Because that's kind of a little bit of an issue that happens if you don't do auto. Alright, so we lost in the divisional. So we're going to have probably the 27th overall pick, 28th. I'm thinking about who we would take in this draft. I got to look at our roster after this uh, free agent period to kind of see where we're sitting at. Maybe we trade up to the first overall pick. And we get, I mean, I, I don't know. Because in how Madden works here is that it's it's not like real life where Jared Goff goes number one. Players go a lot later in this draft than they do in um, real life. All right, so let's see what our uh, team looks like. So adjust lineup here. Um, Best team available. Okay. So realistically speaking, we got Max Williams... We got Dennis Pitta and we got Gilmore. Crockett Gilmore, I forgot about him. We got Michael Campanero! Campanero, I love that guy. We got Buck Allen. We got, okay. He's technically a fullback. He's not even a halfback, which is a problem. Bashard Perryman, biggest bust first round pick. Mike Wallace from the Steelers. Darren Waller, yeah. He used to be a wide receiver for the Ravens. And then he went to uh, the Raiders and then the Giants. All right, we got Brown. Oh, Lordy. We really need a strong safety. We would like to have some more corners. We'd also like to have some edge rushers as well. Or premier running back. All right, so who's in this draft class at these positions? Let's look. Before we get crazy here, and I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to try to sim to my pick. I don't think I can stop this from sim. Yeah, I can't stop it. Okay, never mind. Wait, do we not have a first round pick? Oh, I do? Okay, that's weird. I guess I do have the first round pick. Oh, I do, a 28th overall pick. Okay. Um, well, this is um, a very easy decision. In the end, the Ravens decide to take Derrick Henry. Okay, wait, can I, can I not select him? You gotta be kidding me. It says... Wait, no, 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 no. This is a glitch. This is a glitch. I got Derrick Henry. Hold up. What's what's going on here, EA? Okay. Oh, it's it, this is actually a glitch. Oh, I hate this game so much. It's not going to let me select Derrick Henry because it's... As you see, it says the Rams pick. It's, it's glitched. All right, I'm going to send the end of the draft then. And we'll see where everyone goes. It's glitched. The, the whole thing's glitched. Crap. All right. Sometimes it happens when you're drafting. I hate this game sometimes. All the time. All right. Did it give me Eric Henry or no? 
Nope, it gave me Ward. Gave me Kenyon Drake in the second round. I hate this game even more. <laughs> Whatever, man. Anyway, so first pick was Joey Boza to the Browns. Jalen Ramsey to the 49ers. Uh, the Cardinals went Leonard Floyd. It's going to kind of go through these. Carson Wentz to the Cowboys. That's very ironic, actually. Um, Josh Dotson, who was a commander, went to the um, Bears. Okay. Ooh, Dolphins? Jared Goff to the Eagles. Ugh. How I feel about that one. Deion Jones, who was a buck, went to the Saints. Michael Thomas goes to the Rams, St. Louis Rams. Um, Laquan Treadwell goes to the Chiefs. Wow, he ended up being a bust. So that's going to be interesting. Zeke Elliott to the 49ers. Yeah, I would have took Derrick Henry myself. Instead, he goes to the Jags. Thank you, Madden, for being broken and stupid. All right, whatever, whatever. We're going to just rock and roll with what we have. That's pretty much how this is going to work. All right, let's get to the regular season, and let's see what our squad's looking like. We got ourselves a Super Bowl roster, and I can feel it. Because as long as you got number eight at helm, you got something figured out. That something, I have no idea what that something is, but it, it's something. All right, so let's look at the roster here. Active roster. Let's go to boom, 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 boom. Nope, Kenyon Drake. Kenyon Drake's already hurt. Kenyon Drake is already hurt. This is fantastic. Our first round pick's already... I mean, our second round pick's already hurt. All right. You know, with all these injuries, we're just going to rock. We're just going to rock and roll. That's how this works. All right. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right. Injuries already. Yep. We lost Mike Wallace. Okay. I might for future videos turn off injuries because this is getting kind of ridiculous. I mean, we're still winning. It's just injuries every single week at this point. I've never seen so many injuries in a game before. And apparently, I guess, with all the Ravens injuries in their past, this makes sense. All right, no injuries there. That's positive. Now we play the Panthers. 0-2 oh, Panthers. Okay. <laughs> there we go. It's like, uh, it's, it's like a, um, easy, easy thing to pop up. Now, Ladarius Webb did have a lot of injuries in his career, actually. So, that's actually not that unrealistic. He was very injury prone. So, I'm actually not going to say that's crazy. Another injury. Another week. Center, Jeremy Zuta. Jeremy Zuta. Got hurt. Great. Okay. Now, going into this game, we're 3-1 and one versus the 2-2 two and two Bengals. And we lost. Okay. So now we're three and two going into our bye week. Play the four and two Chiefs. How this is gonna go. Survey says. This survey continues to say. Thank you. We lost. Okay. Three and three now the three and four Texans. This is not led by Matt Schaub. We won by two points. Six and two Steelers. Remember when the Steelers were a really good team? I don't like it. We have another injury, though. <laughs> another injury. Alright, so Caponero was hurt already. I think this is Curtis Brown who got hurt. Oh, lordy. Alright, well. More and more problems it is. Let's continue rocking and rolling. Okay, we beat the Bengals, but not without an injury. Jimmy Smith got hurt. Great. It's just that defense, that secondary is getting hurt. With all the injuries, the fact that we are leading the division right now is amazing. Like, this is actually somewhat amazing. 15-3 versus the Giants. Lordy. The Eli Manning-led Giants. Before the Danny Dimes. Okay, 8-3. Now we play 3-8 Chargers. They don't got Jim Hardball. They don't got a win either. 7-5 Raiders. Okay, we won that game. Steelers again. Keep it going. Ugh. Not the greatest there, not the greatest. 
All right, beat the commanders. We got more injuries. I I'm just done with injuries. I'm done with even entertaining these injuries. Okay, we had four injuries in two weeks. Monroe hurt. Mosley's hurt. Arthur Brown's hurt. Ladarius Webb's hurt. I mean, bro, who isn't hurt at this point? Alright. Now, it is a week 18 game, by the way, because we're obviously in past the first year. Alright, let's just see. We gotta play the Jets of the wild card. I think that's... I don't even know who the, the quarterback is for the Jets at the point. 24 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, 4,300 yards. Lamar led second in rushing. Capranoa was the best guy on the team. Terrell Suggs led the team. Okay. Let's see what... Uh, uh, let's check defense first. JPP. That was back in JPP and Justin Tuck days. Eli Apple actually being good. Interesting. Stafford led the NFL by far. Passing. 700 more passing than the next team. Um, touchdowns here. Canning Hill led the NFL. Interceptions, Paxton Lynch. Le'Veon Bell and Alfred Morris. Wow. He actually was really good with the um, Commanders for like, what, one or two seasons and then kind of fell off. Lamar Miller. Okay, Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon's another guy. He was good for like a little bit of time and then kind of fell off. All right, who won MVP? Andy Dalton. Blake Bortles. Interesting. Who is the Jets quarterback exactly? Brock Osweiler and Geno Smith. And Bryce Petty. Yeah. It was a different time, guys. <laughs> this, it was a different time back in the day. It was an interesting time. Three new injuries after the wild card playoff game. Okay. Kenyon Drake gets hurt again, too. Even more fantastic. Just keep it rocking and rolling here, boys. All right. Division around here. We won again. No injuries. We put a 10 and 7 Steelers in the AFC Championship game. Very reminiscent of the 2009. AFC Championship game, where I believe the Ravens lost by seven points as well to the Steelers. So Steelers Cardinals rematch in the Super Bowl here. This would happen in twenty what ten, I believe. The Super Bowl oh two thousand nine. I believe twenty ten and two thousand nine, and the Cardinals lose the Super Bowl again to the Steelers. Wow. So in the end. I mean, you don't get any Super Bowls out of Lamar Jackson playing two years with the Ravens being back in 2015. But two really good playoff runs, a divisional round and a championship run, which, to be honest, the Ravens would not have been in if not for Lamar. So in the end, they didn't let me draft Derrick Henry. That's my problem. That's always my problem. I'll see you guys next one.